Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to go through our second of three installments on angles related to a circle. In the first installment, we talked about uh, angles whose vertex is on the circle. Now we're going to talk about angles whose vertex is in the circle, but not at the center of the circle. And in the next installment, we're going to talk about angles whose vertex is outside of the circle. All right, so let's talk about angles whose vertices are uh, in the circle, but not the center of the circle. All right, so let's take a look at the only example of that. that would be a chord-chord angle. And I have two chords here. We can label this A and B and C, D. So my two chords intersect inside the circle, but not at the vertex or not at the center of the circle. And a chord-chord angle is formed by two chords that intersect in a circle again, but not at the center. And this is my chord-chord angle here. We'll call this O, D, O, B, and A, O, C are my two chord chord angles. I know that these two angles are congruent because they are vertical angles. So uh, angle A, O, C is going to be congruent to angle D, O, B because they are both vertical angles. So what else do we know about the chord chord angle? All right, well, theorem. Uh, 87 will tell us that the chord chord angle, the measure of a chord chord angle, which in this case would be either AOB or DOC, is going to be equal to one half the measure of the sum of the intercepted arcs. So one half of AB plus DC is equal to uh, the measure of angle AOB. So the measure of angle B, AOB is going to be one half, in this case I just put in some numbers 70 plus 40 or 55 degrees. I know that the measure of angle DOC is also 55 degrees because DOC is a vertical angle to angle AOB. All right, so let's prove uh, what we just explained in theorem 87. And what we want to do again is prove that the measure of angle one in this case here is my vertical angle, angle one, not my vertical angle, but my chord chord angle, angle one, is equal to one half the measure of the sum of the intercepted arcs AB, and let's highlight those in blue, AB plus DC. All right, so if we're gonna start by saying that the measure of angle one here is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles, angle two and angle three. All right, now we also know that the measure of angle two we just learned was half in the prior lesson, part one of this uh, three-part series, that the measure of angle two uh, which had its vertex on uh, the circle, so it's an inscribed angle, is going to be half the measure of its intercepted arc. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to one half the measure of AB. The measure of angle 3 is equal to one half the measure of DC. So again, the measure of this inscribed, inscribed angle 3 is equal to half the measure of its intercepted arc DC. So then I can say if measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2 plus 3, the measure of angle 1 is equal to one half of AB plus DC, and that's what we were trying to prove. All right, pretty short lesson. Uh, I have a longer lesson in part one and a longer lesson in part three, so why don't you come back and join us for part three so you get the full uh, version of all the angles related to a circle in the next installment of Otten Math.